Hi friends, this is Mainak Misra and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I will be discussing about a Danish film In a Better World directed by Suzanne Beer. But before starting the discussion, I repeat the same prayer that I hope during this corona pandemic time you and your family members are doing absolutely great. This film, In a Better World, directed by Suzanne Beer, and this film depicts incidents into different corners of this world. At a refugee camp in Africa and in a rural Danish town. This film shows some of the very important issues on one side, this film shows the different uh, issues like different positive sides like, you know, non-violence, uh, reconciliation, self-sacrifice, you now very positive sides. And on the other hand, this film also deals with some of the negative issues like war, warlords, then violence, revenge, all these negative sides, divorce. There is no place without turbulence. There is no person who possesses only love and not hatred. So in this world, there will be positive sides and also there will be negative sides. But we have to bring forward the light and we have to remove the darkness. Our responsibility is to make this world better every day. Now let me tell you the story. Anton, who believes in nonviolence and who is an idealist, is a Swedish doctor and lives in a rural town, a small town in Denmark, but he works at a refugee camp in Africa. He is separated from his estranged wife, Marian, and is about to be divorced and has two sons. Elder son is Elias and younger son is Morten. Elias is bullied every day in school. There is one guy, Sofus. He punctures his, the tire of his cycle. He disturbs him. So Elias is bullied every day in school. Now, one day, another boy, Christian, moves in the town with his father. To live with his grandmother. But there is a sad story behind this. Christian just lost his mother due to cancer. And he has grudge in his heart that his father knew that his mother would not be able to beat cancer. His father wanted his mother to die. That's what Christian believes. So he has a strong hatred or grudge against his father in his heart. So Christian doesn't want to tolerate everything. He is a boy who loves revenge. Even the title of the film the Danish title is Hebnen, which means revenge. So he takes on Sophus. He hits him with a bicycle pump and also holds a knife under his throat. So all three boys are summoned by the school administration. 
but Christian is not caught because Elias has already hidden the knife. So that in school, you know, they shake hands and ultimately the issue is closed. One day, Anton's younger son, Morton, starts fighting with the son of a car mechanic. Anton comes in between and stops the fight. But the car mechanic thinks that Anton has beaten his son. So he slaps Anton a couple of times. Anton is a believer of non-violence, right? So he doesn't fight back. He just shows the boys that, you know, he is not afraid and he, those slaps don't harm him. But Christian doesn't believe that. Christian plans in his mind that one day he will teach that car mechanic a lesson. Now the story is shifted to the refugee camp in Africa. There is a notorious criminal. His name is Big Man. What he does, you know, he slices the bellies of pregnant women. He is such a bad person. Now that guy has a very, you know, badly injured leg and he comes to the refuge camp and requests Anton to treat his leg. The local people there warn Anton that please do not treat that guy. He is a demon. He is a very bad guy. But Anton is a believer of non-violence, right? So he, he treats him. And he is, after getting treatment, big man's leg turns better. At that point of time, a woman succumbs to the injury caused by the big man's gang members. And that time big man says that hand over the dead body to my boy and he will rape that lady, that dead lady. That time Anton is not able to control himself even though he is a believer of non-violence. He leaves big man to the local crowd. He allows big man to be beaten to death by the local public. So this is the story in Africa and in Denmark again Christian plans that he wants to teach that car mechanic a lesson. He starts building a bomb to explode the car of that car mechanic. They decide that the incident will happen on a Sunday morning because on Sunday the street will be vacant, right? There will not be any passerby. Elias initially doesn't agree to that, but ultimately he supports Christian. Now, when they burn the wire of that fuse of the bomb two joggers one mother and her daughter start approaching to the car elias sees that he moves little forward and tells that please don't come so he moves from his safe position and he is badly injured by that explosion. He is admitted to the hospital and when Christian goes there to see him, Marian says that you are a demon, you are a very, you know, you are a psychopath. Because of you, my son got killed. So Christian believes that Elias has passed away. 
so he contemplates suicide and goes to the top of a silo he is about to jump off but anton traces his location he goes there saves him and hands him over to his father klaus so in the end christian and his father klaus reconcile they hug each other and on the other hand anton and marian also resume their marriage so this is the story as i mentioned earlier that susan beer tackles multiple important issues through this film like war warlord revenge bullying divorce non-violent positive sides like non-violence self sacrifice service to the society so there are both positive sides and negative sides all the there are multiple places in this world which are war ravaged still the effort should always be to bring peace there will be people who will hold grudge against somebody still the way forward is love and affection there are darknesses in multiple corners of this world still the effort should always be to bring forward light and that's what the way should be there cannot be a place or a person only with positives and no negatives anton is a believer of non violence but he also cheated on his wife right that's why he is getting separated there will be darkness you know but still in the morning you will see the sunshine so there will be positive sides there will be negative sides but this film in a better world shows not only the problems but the enormous opportunities we have to solve those so this is about about the film and this film also shows that everything has a limit like the relationship may go through the rough phase but we should not rule out the possibility of reconciling had christian not fought back sofus would be bullying elias every day right so there should be a limit Anton is a believer of non-violence but when big man asks a dead body to be handed over he simply cannot tolerate so he allows big man to be beaten to death by the local public so everything has a limit and that limit should not be crossed otherwise there will be retaliation so in a better world as i am discussing with you is a very dynamic film which handles multiple issues now some people some viewers may think that either story either the story of denmark where this elias and christian they are attending school and uh, their story or the african story where anton is serving at refugee camp will make the film so both the stories are not required to be pulled together they do not fit organically it's kind of inorganic way of pulling together the film but i think you know i think a film is a film so if you write it down there can be multiple connection 
so we simply cannot say that this part is required this part is not required something like that ultimately we have to think from the director and writer's point of view susan beer is not a subtle director he is, she is very you know very uh, prominent director so she forces the concepts so if we believe that those stories do not fit together i think that is not the ideal way let's let's see how she wants to progress and that's how she has portrayed the events so in a better world i feel is a dynamic film it's a, it's a it's a good film now i respect everybody's opinion right cinematography by martin soborg is brilliant the way uh, he has captured truthfully the the rural beauty of denmark as well as the beauty of the refugee camp in africa brilliant good cinematography very very nice cinematography uh, music is good acting everybody acted perfectly well you know uh, christian uh, uh, william nilsson who plays christian is brilliant marcus uh, regard who plays elias is really good then uh, trine dirham who plays uh, uh who plays uh, marian uh, very emotional sensitive acting then uh, anton's uh, anton is played by uh, michael persbrand he also plays uh, really nice he portrays the character perfectly he pulls together the emotions and the idealistic way of that character so everybody acted really well this film one best foreign language film at both 83rd academy awards and 68th golden globe awards and also multiple acclaims worldwide it's a good film i strongly feel that this is a good film uh, you please see this film i think you have already seen this please give it a try please see this film and please do not forget to support me okay please comment please encourage me please watch my channel uh and you know regularly uh, watch my videos and any question you have please do not uh think twice please ask me okay uh, thank you so much uh, for watching this uh, video and until i make the next video uh, thank you so much please be safe during this pandemic time uh, thank you and uh, bye